Northern Chicago police lieutenant just walked out of the Cook County Jail after being charged with a disturbing crime. 44-year-old Lieutenant Wilfredo Roman walked out of jail about two hours after his court hearing. Charging documents say two teens, a 17-year-old and a 16-year-old, carjacked the owner of a 2005 silver Mazda. Roman spotted the Mazda and the teens jumped out of the car on foot near the 2000 block of North LeClaire Avenue. Prosecutors said the 17-year-old tried to climb a fence and threw a High Point C9 handgun over the fence. The teen was handcuffed and after complaining that the handcuffs were too tight, prosecutors said Roman then approached the teen suspect from behind and shoved his flashlight in between the suspect's buttocks. The incident was captured on body-worn cameras. Roman was charged with two felonies, aggravated battery, and official misconduct. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely incredible. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers, other Trey King Show family. Much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all. Yes, tomorrow I'll make five years your boy been on YouTube. And I want to thank all you all, the haters, the associates, the friends, the family, the supporters for your love and also for your support. Now, we have a story, you all, coming out of Chicago. And you know by the title that this is Grown Folks Talk because I know you all got a lot of stuff to do today. I got a few things to do today also, so I'm not going to be too long with this story. So what I need you all to do is get those sweet, pretty, precious Badass kids out the room right now. So let's grow have a quick dialogue and see what's really going on in the mind of Lieutenant Wilfredo Romain. You know, with a name like Wilfredo, he's up to something. Anyway, get those kids out the room right now. Go ahead. Excellent. Anyway. Over those kids out the room by now. If those kids are not out the room by now, tough double D T. And since today is Thursday, Thursday, all sides matter. Yes, all sides. No matter if you got a mosquito, all the way up to the hilltops, you all matter in my book. Now, I am sorry because I want to apologize, first of all, for my tardiness. Yes, I am tardy to the party. Without the Kim Zoyak, whatever her damn name is. Now, this story came out a few days ago where you had a Chicago cop, yes, a lieutenant of all things. Like, how in the hell did he move up in the ranking? That's what I want to know. Now, what Lieutenant Refredo Romain did, a 21-year veteran of the Chicago Police Department, what he decided to do was, upon catching two carjacking suspects, one happened to be a 16-year-old, one happened to be 17-year-old. But when I first heard the story, it said the person was a 15-year-old. So please, please, pretty please, if I'm making a mistake or not, Correct me if I'm wrong. But is the suspect 15 or 17? But guess what, though? A ass is a ass, so it don't really matter if the person was a 15-year-old or a 17-year-old. The point is somebody got a flashlight shoved up their ass. Yes, right up their ass. You know what I'm saying? With no Vaseline. Now, you may be thinking, what the hell is really going on? Now, this is not the first time I did a story about a Chicago cop who was involved in sexual misconduct. If you all remember about three years ago, I did a story about a Chicago cop. They was at a hospital with a suspect, and out of all things, the cop, while the suspect was under uh, medication, started sucking on the suspect's toes. You already know if he was going to suck on his toes, yes, he was going to suck on that thing too. But the suspect woke up and everything and raised hell, and the suspect and the police got to an altercation, and the cop was arrested. You know what I'm saying? That's how I knew about it. But anyway, I'll leave the link below so you all go check that video out if you ain't checked it out, but it's been out like three years ago. So my point is this. What the hell is really going on with the Chicago Police Department? Anyway, now I want to give you all a little backstory before I dive a little deeper into the story like that flashlight did. Now, Lieutenant Refredo Romain, been a veteran of the Chicago Police Department for close to 21 years. And out that 21 years, he had received 40 citizen complaints where people was basically saying that he was using excessive force and also false arrests and also other allegations. Now, within the last 10 years, uh, Lieutenant Refredo Romain has been sued, yes, for misconduct, for police misconduct. So, you mean to tell me that he done had 40 citizens complaints and also for uh, misconduct, false arrests, and all kinds of other things, and then the last 10 years he's been sued three times, he didn't get fired, but the moment, yes, the moment he showed a flashlight up somebody's ass, he got fired. Just let that ring a bell. But anyway, 
I'm not going to tear it too long with this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet. And I'm going to give my opinion. All of it. Surely, as we go, Chicago cop allegedly, they say they have body cam footage of that flashlight entering them cheeks. So I don't know about allegedly. Shove the flashlight into a handcuffed teen's ass. Yes, buttocks, anus, body cavity, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's a crying damn shame. But like I say, he was doing a good job that day up until he decided to shove a flashlight up the young teen ass. Now, I know that teen somewhat right now with an ice pack still on his ass because damn, homie, unless you rock that way. But like, like this other YouTuber said, you got to be broken in first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't be tapping nobody back door if you ain't broken in. I'm not going to say no YouTuber name. And don't you all say that person's name neither. Anyway, just pray for him. Refredo Romain, a Chicago Police Department lieutenant, has been accused of shoving a flashlight in the ass of a handcuffed teen carjacker suspect. Report says Romain, a 21-year veteran of the Chicago Police Department, surrendered Wednesday to the Department of Internal Affairs. Now, my thing is this right here. You know, how can a cop investigate other cops? I mean, shouldn't you have some kind of outside investigation force or something going on where you have people come in from the outside that's not a part of you all department to investigate you all? That way we can get a clear and unbiased judgment, if you will. But anyway, that's what you get for carjacking. Prosecutors said Romaine told the 17-year-old suspect as he walked away. And why did he run back up on the suspect after he already had him subdued? I mean, if you got the guy handcuffed and he's already subdued and uh he's not resisting arrest in any kind of way because damn he's handcuffed number one even if he was out of all things to do why not just tackle his ass to the ground hog time but the first thing pop in your mind i hate to use the word but but i don't know what else to say now you mean to tell me the first thing pop into your egghead ass mind that's why you're going bald up top look just like an old bald egg now the first thing cross your crazy mind is to shove a flashlight up somebody's ass? What kind of mess is this? I just don't understand. What the hell are they teaching y'all in Chicago Police Department to just basically sexually assault people? Anyway, now he's told the suspect that's what you get for carjacking. Prosecutors alleged Roman told the 17-year-old suspect as he walked away. Now, reportedly, prosecutors said Roman shoved the flashlight in between the teen's buttocks after he and another suspect 16-year-old were arrested for allegedly carjacking a man at gunpoint and taking his what? Not his Maybach, not his Hummer, not his Lamborghini, not his Ferrari, hell, not even a Corvette, not even a Tesla, a 2005 damn Mazda 5 out of all damn things. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody's car is valuable to them, but damn, a Mazda, a 2005 at that, and you going to shove a flashlight up somebody ass, a damn I mean, it'll be a different story if it was a Bugatti or something. You see what I'm saying? Instead of, I woke up this morning in a brand new Bugatti, I woke up this morning with a brand new flashlight in my ass. Anyway, now let's finish up before I get in trouble. Now, according to reports, the team claimed that he was handcuffed, and also the handcuffs were too damn tight. You know what I'm saying? But guess what, though? If your ass would have been a little tighter, we wouldn't even have the story right now. You know what I'm saying? That damn flashlight couldn't even... Get in there. You know what I'm saying? And to the fellas out there, and I hate to say this, ladies, to the to the fellas, have you ever, have you ever tried to um, go in a woman's back door and it was too damn tight? You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you all pulled out because if not, you tore her ass up, literally. Anyway, now, the handcuffed team told the officer the handcuffs were too damn tight, which prompted Romaine to walk up behind him and assault him after yelling at him to shut the fuck up said prosecutors. Now, also, Cook County Assistant Attorney Mary McDonald said at the Romaine Bun hearing that the teen started yelling when the flashlight entered his ass. And I don't blame him, shit. I'm a grown-ass man. And I'm older than 15, 17 year old. I'm telling you right now, hell, I would have hollered. You know what I'm saying? Some of you loose booty guys out there, some of you loose booty females or whatever, y'all would holler because you don't even know, hell, when you're using the bathroom, walking around right now with a diaper on. But to us people who try to keep our walls tight, you know what I'm saying? Keep them walls tight. Uh, Yeah, it'll hurt the hell if you try to even put a damn finger in. You know what I'm saying? For you all out there doing that freaky stuff. Anyway, let's continue. Cook County State Attorney Mary McDonald said at Romaine's Bunny hearing that the team started yelling when the flashlight entered his what? His buttocks. 
his ass, his anus. And also, the team whose identification is not known at the moment, and good thing they didn't, because we can't show it anyway. You know what I'm saying? We probably would have, but we can't. Was identified as ZK in court documents. So the suspect name was identified as ZK to keep his name confidential due to the fact that he was a teenager. But also, it shouldn't be ZK. It should be LB. No, not LBC, not the Long Beach crew from back in the day. No, loose booty. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this in real main. You should be fired because, number one, you've been causing hell for a long damn time. You know what I'm saying? And also, how in the hell do you get promoted after all these damn citizen complaints and being sued three times in the last damn decade? So they didn't mind being sued, but the moment... But the moment you decide to take a damn flashlight, and you know it was a mag light, one of those good industrial lights, you can leave that light outside all damn night in the winter. Guess what? It'll still be working. You shove that light up the person's ass, and guess what? They fire you. They put you on leave. Anyway, if there's anything you want to add to the story, please do so in the comment section. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share this video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed, and I'll see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.